All right, uh, so uh, it is a rivalry being renewed. Will the Dragons breathe fire or will it be the Shumbas who will look to tear out some flesh from the Dragons' scales? Well, the match has started and all Georgians already looking to assert their authority. Ryan Musumi running through the gap and, uh, oh my gosh. Uh, the Mutare Sports Club defense sliced in half for old Georgians here uh, going through and scoring uh, that one and making it five points to nil against Mutare Sports Club. Now, you can stay locked on to Sports Extra. We will give you the round of fixtures that have been played and their results a little bit later on. So stay locked on to the Facebook channel, but also share the link and uh, make sure that all those that are out of the country and not able to make it to Old Georgian Sports Club can watch this action live and direct on Sports Extra Zim. So Old Georgians have uh, raced into the lead, seven points to nil, uh, with a number of youngsters that are also coming onto the field of play here. Ryan Musumi will be going with a nice high kick and number two from Old Georgians unfortunately unable to get the ball there because it goes straight into touch. We can see a couple of Cheetahs players, Ryan Magaramombe uh, there, Kudachuanza, the veteran Keegan Cook as well, another veteran of four Old Georgians all on the field of play as they're going about business. So Mutare Sports Club with a tap at the halfway line and will be looking to push on from here. So let's see how it goes. Mutare Sports Club, uh, unfortunately, there was a missed kick and knock-on signaled there and advantage being played. Keegan Cook with a pass there, a high tackle missed. And number two here is going to put on the afterburners and Mutare Sports Club are left for dead as the scoreline goes to 12 points to nil in favor of Old Georgians. Oh dear, it's going to be another... A bloodbath. <laughs> bloodbath here at Old Georgians Sports Club. As the host of Old Georgians, you know, they've just quick scored quickly off the blocks. And uh, look, they are, these guys, they're not going to stop. They have the experience. They have what it takes. You know, we should be expecting at least a half century from this match. Well, you could be expecting that, but I don't think Mutare Sports Club will hand it over on a silver platter. And so with that missed drop kick from Ryan Musumi, it is going to be uh, Old Georgians at 12 and Mutare Sports Club nil at this uh, current point. Right here at Old Georgian Sports Club, it is the Sables, the Sevens, the Summer Series, and we're enjoying all of the action right here. Lovely sun, lots of spectators, as well as teams making it happen. So Old Georgians, they are going for the contest and knocking the ball forward. The referee did not see any advantage being played by Mutare Sports Club, so he's going to bring play back there, and it is going to be scrummed down Mutare Sports Club ball. This is now an opportunity to maybe run out of their 22 and try and see if they can contest and compete with the likes of old Georgians, especially when it comes to the pace that old Georgians now has uh, within their line. They have put some experience out wide here. Keegan Cook coming through and will be looking to defend uh, on the wing side. But we've also got Tinotenda and Nyawasha, who's also going to be here. So if they can get the ball out here, it would help. But it looks like the ball has been turned over. Old Georgians looking to attack a skip and jump inside loop pass. Keegan Cook holds onto it. Some good hands. Ryan Musumi looking to go forward here. But the way he picks up the ball is a little bit tricky. But once again, once they tackled, they didn't roll away. That was Mutare Sports Club. A big mistake, so it's a penalty, and it will be Old Georgian's ball who will be looking to take advantage of this one. Well, uh, it's all Old Georgians from now, and I was having a chat early with Kudachuan. They were saying that it's all about the process, slow, being patient, and, you know, being accurate. And that's why this team is on top, because they know what to do. They trust the process, they do not rally everything, is, is, it's, it's, there is a plan to it and a good chicken wing pass there all the way to the trial line that takes them to 17 points with a conversion to go yet all Georgians, since the host we have just scored. 
What has been beautiful as well, we've been seeing a couple of decision makers that are uh, coming through to watch some of the rugby, some of the big boys would say in the corporate world of Zimbabwe, like the marketing director of Zim Papers, we've seen him around, a couple of other doctors here that are around as well, uh, that are just watching all of the rugby action because some of their children, their sons, they are playing here, or as well, some of their siblings, uh, we would say, uh, those that would be coming through from uh, a distant relative are also here but with the miss on that drop a uh, kick uh, that means that the score remains at 17 points to nil with old georgians firmly in control breathing dragon fire and the mutare sports club shumbas uh, clearly whimpering in their own half and so here comes the drop kick nice and high looking to be taken mutare sports club had taken the ball quite nicely but with the knock on here all georgians will look to take advantage kodachuans are spreading it to ryan musumi who will look to spread it to kick and cook but he decides to go for the inside defensive line kick and cook breaks through uh, that porous defense of mutare sports club and he goes straight under the posts in order to make the score 22 points to nil against Muntare Sports Club and we can already see hands on hips right now as they're asking the question what do we need to do to make sure that this dragon doesn't continue to breathe fire on the field of play I told you it's going to be a, a half century scoreline and uh, it's going to be difficult for Muntare for them to score against all Georgians because look they are starving them of possession and that's what Kudachi Wanza just said when he was sitting over there that we look forward to starve all our opponents of possession so it's, it's difficult for you to play any rugby without the ball so it's gonna be one-way traffic and obviously you can defend <laughs> well you can defend but you can't score when you're defending oh yeah so you have to and uh, unfortunately that was a miscued restart kicks but uh, kick and cook was already All in that right. position All just right. to make sure that they don't have the position Oh yes, and the scoreline is uh, 24 points uh, to nil with Ryan Musumi uh, at least getting that drop kick uh, done. So already the sound of four half time has been signaled. Uh, Mutare Sports Club here tracking back number 10, maybe uh, a little bit scared of being tackled there. But finally, ball comes out to uh, Tinotenda Nyawasha. Uh, pop pass here, but he. Uh, pushes it forward and it's a chicken wing pass to kick and cook who decides to go for the grabber and it doesn't seem like anybody is going to be able to catch him he decides to go to ground pick up the ball here but he knocked the ball on and the advantage for their knock on uh, where they were going to get the scrum has been cancelled so it is 24 points to nil uh, going into the halftime break here for old georgians i'm sure they've got this one firmly in the bag i told you we should look beyond the half century score yet uh or georgian sports club as the host i'm sure they are fencing their chances to be scoring more and uh look kick and cooking you know, look what are the what some of the things they are not doing is they are not assigning duties to their players so players they're just going to they're just walking into the field of play and they don't know their role and as of kick and cook is clear is there is there airman is there someone who's supposed to be dominating those physical physical space in contact so as for other players they don't know their role in the team and that is the difference between all george and most of the teams yes rs sports club they are being coached by daniel wondo who's also an ex cheaters international player ex cheaters players also an ex cheaters sevens uh, coach so most of the teams they don't know a player is going there thinking that he or he or she is playing as a wing but what is he expected to do on that uh, position oh yeah definitely uh, not sure of what they need to do but anyway it is half time all georgians leading 24 points to nil against mutare sports club So here we come back for the second half here between uh, Mutare Sports Club and Old Georgians. And as we did mention before, uh, the score line at halftime was 24 points to nil in favor of Old Georgians who have clearly had most of the ball. Not only most of the ball, but who have clearly dominated all the spaces uh, that Sydney was talking about, particularly at halftime. What are the wings are supposed to do? What are the forward players who go into the scrum supposed to do? What are the jumpers supposed to do? 
all this is something that has to be clarified and made sure especially when teams are coming out to play sevens but anyway it is a scrum down all georgians ball after the knock on at the restart and carlos matematema has come straight in and taken over the scrum of duties uh, that ryan musumi actually had and so uh, all georgians here will be looking to actually seal the deal very quickly carlos matematema second receiver again with that inside side step it doesn't seem like as if the teams can uh, get that and uh, they'll be watching uh, to see what will be happening there and so a high tackle coming through uh, from uh, uh, Mutare Sports Club and lucky for them no yellow card coming through one of them was actually screaming ref I'm not so sure if he wanted the ref to be lenient on that one look uh, what Carlos is doing is just targeting for those inside shoulders look those are little things that you think when you when you watch and what Kudashi Chiwanza just did there he was just to make sure that he drew two people in and create space for the outside men and as we see that outside men going to race for a try try time all georgians wow after the number of tackles that were missed after the number of men that were left sprawling on the floor it is now 29 points to nil in favor of old georgians against uh, the mutare sports club shumbas clearly they are whimpering and uh, with the conversion not going through, uh, that means the scoreline remains 29 points to nil. Mutare Sports Club already making a couple of substitutions here to try and restrict the damage and make sure uh, that maybe they can get some points on the board. But 29 points to nil in favor of Old Georgians. Carlos Matematema here will be with the responsibility of actually uh, restarting uh, this. And... Um, we have seen even the likes of uh, veteran uh, Keegan Cook has been taken away from the side. But Carlos Matematema here, unfortunately, doesn't get the ball to go past uh, the 10-meter mark. So that will be a free kick for Mutare Sports Club. And that one will be a, a, a quick tap and go. They try to go for physicality, but I don't think against a well-conditioned old Georgian side that would be smart. And that's exactly what happened. Held on to the ball whilst he was still on the ground. Carlos Matematema going for a couple of side steps. An outside pop pass, an outside pass here. And uh, he puts on the afterburners. He will go straight uh, for another try here. And that means it is 34 points. 34 points to nil. It looks like uh, uh, Sydney here might actually be starting a church with that prophetic word. As he did say that we will be going for a 40 uh, point margin here. Uh, because we are at 34 points to nil with a drop kick yet to come. Yes, uh, look, I told you before, this is what's going to happen. Look, it all comes back to coaching. When you don't give your players role of, of what to do, especially when they are when they are there on their field of play, trust me, they are going to be passengers there. So what what, what I love about all Georgians, especially, they know what they're supposed to be doing at opponents. In each and every player knows their role that he, he is supposed to be playing. As of uh, the props, what is it expected from the props? As of the the, the fly-offs, as of the centers. They know exactly what they are supposed to So it's not just about scoring uh, tries, especially from the midfield. It's about creating space for the outside men to score a try. And look at that. They know what they're supposed to be doing, especially when they are going for that air ball. They are going in a diamond formation. Just in case the guy who's contesting for the ball misses or the ball is poked back, two, two guys should be in position to, to collect that ball. As we're seeing that... Uh, the t the guy who's going to the to to, to, to tackle a guy and there's someone who's coming in to contest the ball and now Mutare Sports Club they are now it's now all over the place it's like they are playing ping pong they just don't know what to do from here as you can see they're just passing the ball around just hoping that uh, something might happen but surely they really oh it's really a physical physical game and obviously with all Georgians you can't win you can't win and uh, it's Mutare we are playing on their back feet now. Is they win the, 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 the penalty on the breakdown. All right, they win the penalty. The scoreline is 36 points to nil. 
after that uh, successful drop kick from Carlos Matema Tema. Uh, but Montario Sports Club getting a penalty there as uh, all Georgians were playing the ball on the ground. Uh, charged down here and it looks like all the Georgians have got another opportunity. Carlos Matema Tema trying to go in for the sidestep but a little bit greasy underfoot. Let's not forget there were heavy rains last week so there is still quite a bit of moisture to deal with on this turf. But with all the Georgians here breathing fire against uh, Mutare Sports Club, all you can say uh, that is happening right now is, uh, yeah, uh, they are just going through the paces. So uh, a sidestep here from number 12, but I think he's gone into contact. Well cleared. Carlos Matematema takes the ball. A sidestep on the inside, and he's definitely going to go in for the try while he decides to be unselfish, and he goes and passes the ball. And, yes, it looks like it has been fulfilled, finally. Uh, we have gotten to the 40 mark, and I think you're just uh, smiling from ear to ear, aren't you, uh, Sydney? Uh, because that takes uh, the score to 41 points uh, to nil, uh, and with a drop kick to come. Oh, yes. Uh, well, Andy missed. That's very uncharacteristic of, um, of that young man. You know, he has been banging them from difficult angles, and right, that one was right. In front of the pose, it's it's just um, just mind blowing that he missed that. I don't know if he's being getting carried, getting carried away because of of the fans, but anyway, all Georgians they are in cruise control of this one. <laughs> well, talk about vehicles. Yeah, they are in cruise control. Uh, pretty much, actually, just let the foot on the accelerator uh, pull the seat back and actually just watch it automatically drive. And so, with a 41, 41 point uh, to nil a lead here. Um, Carlos Matematema just comes back and will be looking to just practice his drop kicks here. Make sure it goes at uh, 10 meters. It's a little bit flatter this time around. Gives Mutare Sports Club an opportunity. Now they can at least run. But old Georgians have not been missing tackles. That one was a huge tackle on the far side. And again, old Georgians continuously contesting. However, it looks like there is a bit of a, a free kick. Uh, that has been a penalty, actually, that has been given by talent Gandiwa there. Uh, uh, and it looks like some cynical play by old Georgians. Uh, but with that uh, penalty, Penalty being given, uh, talent Gandiwa is coming through and saying, young man, I know you can tackle, but that's not the way to do it. And with that, he gets a yellow card and he reduces all Georgians uh, to six men. So maybe Mutare Sports Club can just look for a try here, add to the points tally that they have in total and make things happen. But uh, here they come, ball running down the line. They do have an overlap. If you could just only pass the ball, I don't know why they thought they could just break through the defensive line and not making use of the overlap that they have in place. Muntare Sports Club tries uh, to go about things, but playing the ball on the ground uh, is Muntare Sports Club, and that's a penalty against them, and it goes in favor of all Georgians. A sidestep again. Oh, two sidesteps. Uh, Carlos Matema Tema tries to offload it, but it doesn't go to hand. Old Georgians uh, picks up the ball again from the turnover from Mutare Sports Club. And it is a penalty here uh, for, old, uh, uh, for Mutare Sports Club as Old Georgians were holding onto the ball on the ground. And Old Georgians encouraged to go 10 meters back here. The scoreline still remains 41 points to nil in favor of Old Georgians. Mutare Sports Club decide to go for the grabber here, uh, looking to chase. And the ball has been kicked even further into the try box and it rolls straight out of the try box because all Georgians know that it is time up. It's done and dusted. So all Georgians run away with it. 41 points to nil against Mutare Sports Club with Sydney smiling from ear to ear, knowing that he predicted correctly at this uh, scoreline. So here it ends at Old Georgians on their home turf against the Mutare Sports Club Shumbas. Old Georgians 41, Mutare Sports Club nil.